I feel like I was just a rookie not too long ago, but now <laughs> I'm an old head in the locker room. <laughs> I don't like the spotlight, so for me to throw the spotlight on her, that was easy. Yeah. They, they could look at her or something. <laughs> you and Jonathan Allen, the best interior duo in the NFL? You scared, first off. What's good, Commanders family? I'm Brian Cooper Jr., and this is Next Man Up, where we take a deeper look behind the helmet of your favorite Commanders players. And the Next Man Up is no other than our big man in the middle, Deron Payne. Deron, appreciate you being here with us, brother. Oh, no, it's all good. It's yes. all good. Yes, sir, man. So like I said, we like to look more into the man. You know what I'm saying? Not so much X's and O's talk. We like to just talk about what makes you who you are. Yeah. So first things first, things first Birmingham, Alabama. Yep. Talk about that and what that place means to you. Oh, man, just, I love that place. I, I, I go there during the off season. I got a home there. My family's there. Uh, I feel like that's just the place that made me who I am today. And, uh, it's, it's, uh, a lot of, it's a lot going on there. A lot of people are like, we got a lot of good football players, but people get in trouble, and there's a lot of trouble to uh, try to maneuver your way out of. But for the most part, it's a cool place to grow up, and uh, I, I uh, appreciate it because I feel like it made me who I am today. And you talk about all those things that are going on out there. How did you stay focused and be able to make it to the level that you've made it to? Man, I feel like I was just like a sports head. Like, <laughs> I just want to go to football practice, baseball practice, track practice. Like, I'm at practice every day. So I couldn't I couldn't focus on nothing else but being, being my best self and get ready for whatever else I got to do the next day. Yeah, and, and you went to Shades Valley High, right? Yeah. Now, they just retired your jersey, yep. gave you the key to the city. Yep. What does it mean to get that type of love from your hometown? I just cool because, um, like, I I grew up there, and, like, I, I try to come back as much as I can and give back to the community and do things with, like, the kids and stuff. So it's just, I just appreciate it because I can could, I could tell that they, um, they appreciate me, so... Yeah, and you definitely give back because you just did in like an elite offensive lineman, defensive lineman type camp at your high school, right? No, we did. We did this year. We did a um, just like a kids. We were supposed to do an O line D line camp, but it didn't really play out like we wanted to. So we just did our annual um, like kids camp, football yeah. camp. Yeah. So why is that important? Why is it so important for you to give back to the youth from your community? I mean, when I was growing up, I used to go to like little guys, like guys that was in the NFL. I used to go to their camp, so. I know I, I'm really in touch with a lot of the, the kids that grow up there, so I, I just get a chance to see them and uh, see how they're progressing over the years and stuff, so it's pretty cool. Then I got like all my little cousins, they be coming out to the camp yeah, so I can yeah, yeah. mess with them a little bit. Yeah, what are those moments like? Do they put perspective on you? Like when you see the kids, when you're back with your family, when you're back where you came from, does that give you some type of perspective onto like how you're dealing with now? You're like year six in the NFL. Yeah. Like, Does that give you a little perspective? Man, it's just crazy how fast it just goes. Like, I, 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 just, I feel like I was just a rookie not too long ago, but now <laughs> I'm an old head in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still a young man, and you're yeah. still you're still improving. I mean, last season, arguably your best season, man. You made it to the Pro Bowl. You set the career record for the franchise in sacks. Yeah. I mean, career highs across the board. A lot of accolades, and you also got Washington Player of the Year. Mm. What did those all those things mean to you, being a veteran now that you're not a rookie no more, man? You you grown now. I mean, just she was saying like like you said, watching the player of the year, just saying like the people uh, that got that award before me, like yeah. R.K. Uh, Trip Williams and and a bunch of those guys, like those guys viewed as as dogs of the team. So just to see that people recognize me as as a player like that just means the world to me. Yeah, you're very humble, man, because oh, yeah. even during, like, you got time to do a speech during that Player of the Year award, and instead of, like, you know, talking about yourself, you shouted out your moms. Oh, yeah. You talked about your moms. You made sure she was up there with you. Why was it so important in that moment to give her love? Man, really, that's easy for me. Like, <laughs> I don't like the spotlight, so... <laughs> For me, like I know she she be she be ready to get out the house and do stuff. So for me to throw the spotlight on her, that was easy. They, yeah. they could look at her or something. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about you and your mother's relationship a little bit. Like you know, I know you you guys are very very close. I know she means a lot to you. I know she's very inspirational to you. Just talk about you and your mother's relationship. Oh uh, no, nah, man, she's just been there for me since the beginning, and uh, she always had to deal with like her her health, and uh, but she always made sure that I was able to like get back and forth to where I needed to be and um, had all the things that I needed to do. So 
I just always try to repay her with the way that I like uphold myself and the way that I play on the field and all that little stuff. How how did watching her go through her trials and tribulations affect you not only as a man but as an athlete? Well, I feel like it just taught me like, man, you gotta just keep pushing. Like no matter what the circumstance is, you gotta be able to just fight through whatever and uh, just keep grinding no matter how hard it get. What are those conversations you guys have now? I mean, you know, when you're a kid, growing yeah. up, you know, our, our parents are there to guide us and kind of keep us out of trouble and all yeah. that. But now, you know, essentially you've made it, right? You have a long career, you've gotten the bag, you know, you, you, you've made it. Yeah. What are those conversations like now with your mother? I mean, my mom, she cool. She pretty much just let me do whatever I want to do. <laughs> she said, I'm going to do it anyway. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, it's cool, man. She she just, uh, I know she's pr pretty proud of me. And, uh, she's always happy seeing me being happy and uh, just doing the things I love. And you and you definitely give back to your community, but you also make sure you take care of your mother. Oh, back in sure. 2020, you surprised her with a crib, man, a house, a beautiful yeah. house at that, man. Talk about that moment. Talk about seeing your mother overcome with emotion um, in that moment. Oh, that was easy. I had been wanting to do it for a minute, and um, I had finally just got the opportunity, found a little crib for her, and we, we was able to uh, get her moved in. Well, I feel like she wants a new house now, so... <laughs> We probably about to get her something else soon. Well, it'll be three years about that time. You know what I mean? Time for a little upgrade. <laughs> yeah. What makes Deron Payne never ordinary? Uh, just me wanting to wake up every morning and, and just get to it, no matter how I feel or what I'm going through. I always come in and, and just try to get to work. Where do you get that mentality from? Uh, really just being around in the league, just being around all my teammates, all my different coaches and playing in Alabama. Like I just learned, took little bits and pieces from everybody and just try to just work it into my everyday. Your mother is an inspiration to you. Now you're in this year. What inspires you right now? What else inspires you outside of your mother? What inspires Deron Payne to keep going and being this monster that you are on that field? Man, I just love playing football. Like I love <laughs> Just watching film, like after the game, my girl she get mad at me because I I come home and I I get straight back on my iPad and I'll be watching film all night of the game. Just I just like seeing, I don't know, I just like seeing that. Um, I don't know, just watching everybody on the field, watching me, and just watching other players and stuff. Like, like I I want to critique myself, critique people around me, and uh, I just love football, honestly. And it's interesting because like you're so calm, you're so chill right now. But as soon as you put that helmet on, man, as soon as you oh, get yeah. on that field, it's like a whole nother person. What does that change? Like, why do you have to get into that zone when you start playing? I mean, shoot, that's what I could be myself at. Like, I could <laughs> just go out there and just do whatever I, I want to do, honestly. But off the field, I, I, I'm really just chill. I, honestly, I'll just be in the back vibing and cooling. Yeah, yeah. So you have these moments where you get your mother a crib, you go back to your high school, you do all these things. When did you feel like you accomplished everything you were trying to, or do you still feel like you got more work to do? Oh, there's definitely more work to do. Like, I know last year I just was big on setting goals and and just hitting those goals. So I, I pretty much hit almost all my goals last year. So I just was like, I'm going to keep on doing the same thing and, and just make some new goals and try to just strive, strive and hit them, hit them every chance I get. Yeah, and I, and I know your goal is to be the best. For sure. So I'm going to ask you straight up, are you and Jonathan Allen the best interior duo in the NFL? So I think so. If you look at actual plays and how we play and how we go about games and actually turn on the film, you can see it. Who is Deron Payne? Man, a baller. Um, quiet, but really can't like say that I'm quiet because my teammates, like they feel me. They 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 know my voice. They, uh, they understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I don't know. I just... I'm gonna go out there and ball every chance I get. What is something that Deron Payne is into that nobody would expect that the average person that doesn't really know you would be like, oh my gosh, are you do this? I mean, I got like eight cars. Eight cars, and they name them off. Can you name them all off like that? Or is it just uh, like it's an afterthought at this point? I got a Maybach truck, TRX, um, GT63. I got a like, Four old school cars, yeah, bunch of off-road cars, 
dirt bikes, four wheelers and stuff. Yeah, well, after this, I'm gonna need pics of everything. Yeah. But I got, I got to see what you're working with, man. <laughs> the last question for you, man. They had you mic'd up a few games ago, and uh, your boy Two Hill did a did oh. a little celebration <laughs> dance. You said don't ever do that <laughs> again. <laughs> No, don't ever do that shit again. And why did you feel his dance, man? Did you give him some pointers afterwards? Man, first, he was, it was like, it took him a long time to do it. So I was like, <laughs> you scared first off. And it, it just looked bad. So I was like, you got to. He think he can dance, but he really can't dance. He <laughs> so, always trying to dance when he make plays. So for those watching, what's the key to a good celebration? I feel like... Man, he he should just stick to the gritty. You feel me? Like his gritty is horrible, but that's what make it good for him because it's so bad. So he need to stick to that. I love the analysis, man. <laughs> Last question for you, man. We, we got another NFC East opponent. We're gonna be back at the crib, playing the Philadelphia Eagles. That's your ISO camera right there. Look into that camera and tell the fans why they need to show up and show out for y'all this Sunday. Man, it's a big uh, divisional game. It's always big to win these, and it's a not not even. Um, I mean, it's a home game, so. To be able to have y'all there fighting with us and being loud in the stadium, that, that really helps us out. For sure, man. And we have no doubt the Commanders family is going to pull up for you. And we know you're going to show up and show out on Sunday like you always do, Duran. Appreciate your time, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Next Man Up podcast. Brian Cobra here with our big man, Duran Payne. Thank yes, you, sir. Duran.